Hey guys, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of my July BoxyCharm vs. Glossy Box. Again, I know these are going up a little bit late, but I'm trying to get back on schedule. I'm really excited. I finally, finally, finally got my Glossy Box. It took forever, so that's one of the re another reason why this video is going up so late. So, without further ado, before I make this intro a thousand years long, let's just get into this video. Okay, so I'm going to start with Glossy Box this month. Both these boxes are $21 a month. Here's what the Glossy Box looks like this month. I'm really, really excited. Just so you know, I didn't peek. The ribbon's still there. Um, so as always, super, super cute. I'm loving this pool card. Last month, I did bring up the fact that I might be canceling this box, but I decided to keep it on for a couple more months just because I've been seeing really, really good boxes lately. So um, I'm just going to do it month to month, honestly, and just go from there. So the first product that I'm seeing in the box, this is by Glove, and this is their Hydrodermaqualigid... I don't know how to say that. So say that. This is the Quick Treat Remove Makeup Only with Water. This retails for $5 and it says toss out your washcloth and sponges and say hello to your new makeup remover. Fitting perfectly on your finger, this innovative addition to your beauty routine is a must-have. So, um, I want to see what this is. So this is really, really cool. It's just like a little... It looks like um like a rag that you would wash your car with, but it looks so cool. So you just soak this with water, and then it's supposed to just take off all your makeup. So I'm really, really excited to try this out. Um, I probably will test it out today. I definitely have to figure out how you're supposed to wash it, too, because it's white, so that's going to get really nasty. And then I don't know how effective it is with just one finger. Maybe if it was like three or four, I don't know. But... Really, really excited to try this out. Really curious. The next thing that I'm pulling out, this is by Leighton Denny. And I've gotten a nail polish from them before, so I'm pretty sure this has to do with something to do with nail polish. Um, this is the Miracle Mist Speed Drying Spray for Nail Polish. What? Okay, this might solve, like, all of my problems with nail polish because... If you guys don't know, I hate, okay, one, I stink at doing my own nails, so there's that. Secondly, one of the reasons why I stink at doing my own nails is because I am so impatient and I hate waiting for my nails to dry, and it drives me insane, so I end up, like, messing them up. So that's why I just get gel, and I go and I get them done professionally, but if this really works, like, shoot, I might be good. So this retails for $16. So I am so excited, you guys. This might solve like literally all my problems. And it has no smell, which is awesome. And I sprayed it on my hand, but it instantly dried on my hand, which is like the coolest looking thing ever. So I'm really, really excited to try this out. I definitely need to remove my polish really soon. So really 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 excited oh my god speaking of doing my nails the next thing in the box is by simple shine and this is their top coat this retails for three dollars that is crazy delivering high shine and lasting coverage this formaldehyde free formula extends the longevity of your chosen color in just a few minutes so that is awesome as well. Again, these two products are like perfect for me because I I hate doing my nails. The longer I can keep from having to do them, the happier Shelby is, especially because I'm super busy and running around all the time. The next product is all sticky and gooey and it's really nasty and it's kind of getting everywhere. This is by Sabone, Sabin, something like that. Um, and it looks like this. It's really sticky, so I'm gonna put it down. And this is the Shower Oil in Delicate Jasmine. I definitely can smell the jasmine. Um, so it's pretty much instead of a shower gel, it's a shower oil. And I've heard a lot of amazing things about oils. So i um, really, really excited. The full size of the oil is $23. So that is awesome. Really, really excited. And it looks pretty, like, really awesome. natural as well. 
So that's pretty awesome. The next product in the box is by Ico, and this is a super familiar brand to me. I love pretty much all their products. This is the Ico Fat Stick in Satin. So this retails for $12, and I'm really, really excited because I love using these. These are awesome to have when you are running, like, when you want to do a really simple makeup look or you're running late, you can just wipe this all over the lid for a one color shadow look and it will look amazing so I'm really really excited for that and so I'm really, really excited for that and the last thing that is in the box this month is a mask and this is by Fango or Fongo Fango Essentials and this is the moisturize with avocado kelp and acai berry a remedy for parched, dry skin helps nourish and deeply moisturize for all skin types. And this retails for $7. I really, really need something like this, so I'm really, really excited. This retails for $7, so if I like it, I definitely would look into getting more. So I'm really, really excited. So that was the last thing that came in my glossy box this month. So in a little review, we got the mask, the shower oil, the eyeshadow stick, the top coat, and the drying spray. So all in all, it was an amazing, amazing box. I am so excited. I am so happy that he decided to keep going with this box. But like I said, it's going to be a month-to-month -month thing for me just because I'm still not sure, still on the fence. So we will see. But without further ado, let's just get into my boxy charm. Okay, guys, so here is my boxy charm. So it looks like we're only getting four products this month, but I heard one of them is really, really big. So pretty excited. Um, the first thing that I'm seeing, this is the PYT Argan Oil, and it's an oil treatment. Penetrates the hair follicle and leaves hair frizz free. And this retails for $30, so that is crazy. I have crazy frizzy hair, so I, if this works, shoot, I mean it's $30, so I'd hope so, but... Really, really excited to try that out. The next thing that I'm seeing, this is by Noya. This is the Noya Lip Gloss, and this retails for $16. Mine is in the shade Malbec. I'm sure that's how you say it. And it looks like it's going to be like a purplish color. Yeah. So it's a purpley color. Looks like that. Perfect transition into fall color. Really, really excited. It's definitely something that's going to be a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I am trying to do that and go out of my comfort zone. So really, really excited about that. The next thing in the box, this is the Mali Beauty Blender Brush, and this retails for $15. So again, I am loving eyeshadow brushes. Can never have enough of them. And I love how small this one is too. So it's perfect for traveling. There's one last thing in the box this month. This is the Ofer Professionals Magnetic Palette. And all together, everything retails for $60. That is craziness. So these are perfect. Per oh, these shadows are so pretty. I'm so excited. They're like perfect fall colors. So excited to have this. And really, really excited to play around with these shadows. So, holy moly, I'm excited. So, in a little recap, we got the eyeshadows and the Z palette, the brush, the lip gloss, and the oil. So, clearly, I'm going to tell you guys right now, clearly BoxyCharm won. But, I just need to say that... Glossy Box literally had one of the best boxes, at least in my opinion, that they've had in a really, really long time to the point where it was really close. But, I mean, it's they. I got a six eyeshadows and a Z palette. Like, that's pretty crazy. So, this box was worth over $100. You can't beat that. I'm sorry. But, like I said, Glossy Box's box was amazing like it's one of the best that I've ever gotten so I'm not saying that it was bad but I'm just saying BoxyCharm was way better if that makes any sense let me know what you guys got in these boxes this month down below and if you're new to my channel hi I'm Shelby I hope that you subscribe and yeah I hope you guys are having an amazing amazing day and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys